Hello. Hello and hello. Friends, it's been too long. Hello, I hope you are well. We do need music in the background. That is a good call, Gypsy Raven. I need to f figure out how to do that. Well, I know how to do that. I need to use Streamlabs, but mm, potato problems. Potato problems. Because uh, when I use Streamlabs, it makes angry noises. And that would override any music that was playing in the background. But I think we can do that. You, we just need to... I would start the stream earlier and then... Streamlabs will put it out on you. You know how it goes out. I mean, it's, it's the stream, professional streaming things that I have no conception of. Or at least my computer does not have conceptions of. See, it's one of those things where I know how, but I, I do not have requisite resources. <clears throat> I think that's how we'll put it. Hi, everyone. Hi, it's, it's really good to be back. Um, it's good to be back. Gosh, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a bit of a plus one for death metal all, all, all day, every day, all day, every day. Oh, Milton, you are in for a treat. This is, this is something quite special. Yeah, this, um, this is Dice Miner. This is Dice Miner. I'll get into this. I'll get into this. I, I just, I do, I do want to say like, thanks for bearing with me. Um, I won't get too sappy, but yeah, it's been a tough couple of weeks. Um, and you know, with with the with the coalescing of various um, things factors in my life at the moment, um, it might be that I'm st I, I'm gonna have to start streaming a little less regularly, or at least maybe posting videos a little less regularly. I'm not sure. I'll keep you guys I'll keep you guys updated. But I appreciate your patience as I kind of fumbled through the past couple of weeks, and uh, and yeah, I'm just glad you're here. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming back. This. This is a dice tray of sorts. We are going to pour dice onto here, and that is how we're going to draft them. This is Dice Miner, and I backed this on Kickstarter a little while ago. I did not back the deluxe version at first, and then they got me in that like post, you know, like the post Kickstarter like survey where they're like, "Are you sure you don't want to upgrade?" And I was like, "Well, I do really like gold gloss on my box and magnets and." things like that. I like magnets in my box too. And I also like giant plastic dice trays. Now, for folks on my Patreon, um, you will have known that I, you would have seen a preview of this. Um, no, not the finished version, but I, I painted it. So it comes in this like kind of bland gray color. And this is the finished product after, after some some hours, <laughs> shame to admit, some hours of acrylic painting. Um, and yeah, this is this is what it looks like. So it's got the possibility of, uh, of of looking quite nice, I think, or at least I hope. Here, let me let me just I'll, I kind of I kind of you know do a little do a little tour do a little tour of the mountain. We are uh, we are dwarves in this game, as you might imagine. There's beer, there's dice, there's mountains. What more? What what else could we be? We are uh, we are we are dice. We are we are my we are miners. We are dwarves. We are dice miners. We are dice. Dwarven miners, and we're going to mine some dice um, today. And uh, and yeah, this is a pretty. It's okay. So it's a drafting. Hi, Lord Richard. Hi. How are you? How are you? That, let me let me. I won't get into it. That how are we all? How are we doing? How's 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 Oselko? How's Milton? How's Gypsy Raven? How is Lord Richard? How are you all? I hope well. I hope well. I haven't. I have barely been on the Discord either. I've been just kind of absent from this from this wonderful group, and um, and I feel a bit bad. Honestly, the longer it went, the more, the more I was like procrastinating posting anything to say like, hey, sorry everyone. Um, but that's just that's just a piece of my personality that I probably need to get over. Let's uh, let me just zoom in a wee bit so we can get a bit, a bit of this reasonably well. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's 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 what that's what we can ask for, I suppose. Um, a reasonable level of wellness. Yes, I I feel the same. I am I am also reasonably well. All you know, one of those like all things considered. Two hours without power. Goodness me, Puerto Rico needs to. We need to. We need, like, can we just? 
can we just actually invest in the places that we call parts of our country? Like, jeez Louise. Start of school, yep, yep. The quarter for me is starting in a week or so. Um, and for Kate as well, of course. Um, yeah, that's going to be... It's going to be a lot. Puerto Rico does need some windmills. <coughs> or oh, some solar panels, goodness gracious. Um... Yeah, the quarter's starting uh, next week. Cash is back at school. Um, almost every day, goodness me. Yeah, solar panels, something. Some, what, some, what, uh, that title, the title capturing of power. <laughs> I don't, can't remember what that's called. What's that called? I don't know what that is called. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, it seems like I need some bubbly. Yes, I do. Hmm. But yeah, um... Or some geothermal. I don't know if there's volcanic activity uh, enough enough to, to warrant that, but something. Something. Goodness gracious. Um but uh yeah, yeah, start of school. That is it's a it's a yeah, Cash is Cash is in high school. Goodness gracious me. He's uh he's the first first couple of weeks of high school. And that is that's a transition, I'll tell you what. He's like expected to no volcanoes. Yeah, that there's enough natural disasters, enough natural disasters for now. Let's not let's not let's not invite anymore. <laughs> That's a reasonable, reasonable, reasonable request. Um, yeah, let's let's not. Um, well, good. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear that everyone is reasonably well. Um, yes, that is that is that is all we can ask for. As I say. Right. We are dwarves, as I began to mention. And we are miners, as I also began to mention. Some of us are dragon slayers. Some of us are prospectors. Some of us are scouts and warlocks and surveyors. And what we're doing in this in this game is essentially constructing this uh, mountain of dice and then slowly mining our way through it. Now, in the solo game, it's a little less drafty because, of course, drafting kind of insinuates that we are uh, taking part in some sort of multiplayer, uh, you know, kind of messing people's plans up with our own plans. In the solo game, of course, um, we're more reliant on a bit of luck and a bit of, a wee bit of planning. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm still somewhat on the fence. I really enjoy this game. Um, like, I like it. I find it quite relaxing. It's very simple and quite straightforward, but then I think that would put, that that isn't everyone's cup of tea, right? Like, not everyone wants to play a game that is kind of just like that, yeah, somewhat that, that's somewhat simple, I guess. If that's your thing, then there you go, this, this might be for you. Um, I do love the Plastic Mountain. I don't know if I'd back the deluxe version again if I had the chance. I love the Plastic Mountain. I mean, I do really like it. And I had a lot of fun painting it, so I'm getting my money's worth already. But the, the regular version comes with, like, a paper mount or a cardboard mountain with, like, inserts on the bottom to make this similar kind of dice pattern. I'll show you how this works. But essentially, the solo version, we're going to choose a uh, player, or choose a character, um, each of them have these like special skills at the bottom, which will help us, um, likely, help us um, form the combos we need to gain points in this game. Um, some of the characters, not not all, but not all, but a few of the characters, like these three especially, kind of either don't make sense in a solo game or just break them. So again, like this isn't a solo focused game. It really isn't. And I probably should have known that given that it was a drafting game. But I don't know, I like dice, and I like colourful dice, and I like I like dwarves, honestly. I mean, dwarves are cool. But yeah, so I figured, I mean, we'll probably be able to get through quite a few games in this. It's, it, it won't take us, well, famous last words, it will likely not take us more than 10 or 15 minutes per game, because um, it is quite simple and straightforward. So I figure I'd just kind of pick some of these at random, and then we'll just kind of see, see, who, see who's the best, right? Yeah, we yeah that's true. The, the the feeling is not often mutual. Gypsy, that is <laughs> that is quite accurate. <laughs> so let's just uh, let's just see who we get. It's the alchemist. Um, that's all right. 
we're going to start with essentially three more magic points than we normally would. Now, the very start of this game, oh Lord Richard, you're so lovely. Listen to listen to Lord Richard, everyone. He is he he has sensible words for us all. Um, we do start with three magic dice, and we're going to roll these and get some random. Um, magic points, which in our case is going to be six, so that's nice. We're going to start off with six. I'm going to put these on a table um, where you can see them. These will allow us to kind of make the uh, dice on the mountain vanish rather than us having to mine them, because we do have to mine them in specific orders. Now, what I'm going to do here, we've got this big old bag of delightful dice, as you might may be able to make out. And this is the best part of the game. Essentially, we're just going to throw them onto the mountain. Now, Usually I just grab a big clump and... And if you don't like that sound, then I'm sorry, but you're on the wrong channel. Um, so usually I just grab a big clump and just pass them onto there like that. But, you know, there's other... I'm sure there's more organized ways, but it does need to be random, so... Throw them onto the mountain. Organize them like such. So we've got, I think, 20 dice. Is that right? Yeah, 20 dice on there. Um, organizing this particular pattern. And the way we're going to score points in this game is either making tunnels or runs of one through five. So dice from one to five. That, that makes sense. Um, we are going to score points from um, collecting gems. That's these little yellow dice here. I know they're showing beer, but that just means they're wild at the moment. Um, we can collect gems and put them in treasure chests, which gets us extra points. We can also fight dragons, which will get us extra points as well. And we can um, kind of stop cave-ins, if you will. So for each cave-in we stop um, using a particular tool that's in these green dice, um, we'll be able to score points for that as well. Now this isn't a particularly good first roll, because as you can see, we've got five up at the top, and we cannot start a run with five. We always have to start a run with one. So we're probably going to have to spend quite a lot of our magic to even get started on this uh, particular round. I'm going to go ahead and, and guess this round isn't going to be my best. So we're going to have to get rid of this because we don't have any uh, we don't have any tools to capture it. We're going to also going to have to get rid of this uh, because we don't have any shields with which to fight the dragons. Now we have to mine, I should say, like we can't just like start here and like pluck this out. We have to mine from the top to the bottom, as you might imagine. So if I spend two of these uh, magic dice over here, magic symbols, whatnot, um, I can clear off these two. These are going to go back in the bag. This magic dice is not. That's used and is gone forever. Um, and then I'm going to have to spend another three, I think, to start uncovering um, some more dice. Goodness me. Yeah, we're going to have to... Yeah, here we go. The dice the dice are not cooperating immediately. I should say that I played a couple of rounds of this, um, obviously before stream, just to kind of reacquaint myself with the rules, um, and did quite well. So obviously, here we are um, <laughs> on camera, having to mitigate some less than cooperative dice as per usual. So if I take off another two... Um, I'll take these off. I'm going to collect this one and we can start a tunnel. Then I might take off another two. I'm going to take off this one, which is going to go back in the bag, and this one. This will allow me to take a two so I can continue my tunnel, and this will allow me to collect some gems. So um, when we show beer, that means it is wild, so we can set this to anything we like, and most likely we want to set it to the, the highest value possible, as you might imagine. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself three gems, I'll store them over here, and three more gems, I'll store them over here. We're going to score a single point for each of these. Um, if we are able to collect them into a treasure chest, we score two points for each symbol. So that's obviously preferable, but not always possible. Right, I've got a three down here, um, and I've got a four over here. So I could, if I spent some more magic, collect a full run. A full run will score us five points at the end of the game. I don't particularly like not having any magic left, um, but let's think. I would have to. I would have to spend one, two. Hmm, yeah, okay, I'm going to spend two of these. I don't really have a way to mark that I've spent them, which is an uh, interesting quandary that I've never come across. Um, so let me think about if I've got any tokens or something around here that I can... Yes, here we are. This will do. I've got some little cubes. I don't usually play with the alchemist, and maybe 
this is why. I don't really like your magic skills. I mean, magic's useful, but I don't know. Some of the other, some of the other characters have better skills, I would say, than this. So yeah, if I take off these two, um, magic them away, as it were, I can collect this for free. This is just a treasure chest. Um, I, if I'd have done that first, I could have put two in here and scored four points, but you know, hindsight and all that. Um, planning ahead, obviously not not a forte per se. Um, we've got a three, we've got a four, and we've got a five. And at least from this single clearance of the uh, mountain, we've managed to score ourselves, what, six, five, 11 points. We get three mountains per game, so we're going to refill the mountain um, and continue. Now, we're going to hope... <laughs> We're going to hope that we either can get some magic out of here, some magic dice, these blue ones, um, so we can refill some of our magic points, or um, or just some, some kind rolls, I suppose, some kind rolls. So let's just kind of grab and... I mean, it's just satisfying. It's just a satisfying noise. There you go. And um, these will come out of here. Now, that dragon is a bit of a pain. We've got some more, um, got some, got some more gems, which is good, and we've got this, which is a nice wild. Um, I am gonna have to spend some magic though to 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 do this. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna claim two gems this time, and I'm gonna stack it on top of my treasure chest to show that it's been used. So I'll put that there. That way we've got, we know we've got ten points now in gems. This dragon is a right pain. We, oops, this one isn't um, on the on the board now. I don't think I've got any way to get down there. I'm gonna to have to spend another magic um, to clear this top dragon, which is a, just a real, just a real shame. So this dragon's gone. It means we can claim this gem, which I guess I'll claim as a three. It's a shame because again, it's stacked on top of this, so it would have been nice to claim that. But there you go. We've got an open treasure chest once more. We've got a one, so we can claim this as a two. But we might have to, I think, oh man, yeah, that's really tough. We don't have any way to clear any more dice. We have a cave in here, which we, we could apply to this, but we can't get it locked into this five. This dragon is locking the gems and the treasure chest and this magic, which is, you know, would be nice as well. And uh, yeah, so this is a pretty bad one. We're gonna have to one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna have to hope that these six dice are something uh, cooperative. Otherwise, we're gonna score quite terribly on this game. And I told you this game will go quite quickly. So even if you have a rubbish round, it's one of those games where it doesn't really matter that much because you can just play again right away. You know, like I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too butt hurt because I haven't I haven't really invested that much time in it. All right, let's let's hope we're getting something good here. Um, we we'll do that, and we're getting some gems, which is nice, and we're getting some magic as well. Goodness gracious, thank you. So, three gems will go in my three treasure chest dice. That's six points, the max we can get. I think we'll take this two magic, and then we'll we'll reevaluate. So, we've got a three, four, five. That's another run. We've got this, which I'd like to get rid of, obviously. Um, we've got gems and treasure. Okay, so... If I make this a th three, I know, right? That was close. If I make this a three, some, so, so, you might think that like it's always best to take three, but I play it so that like you always, if you spend three, you have to take three. So sometimes that's not always best. So I'm just trying to plan out what I'll actually need to take because I really only want to take this one right now. Um, three, four, five treasure dice this that i think that's i think that i think i only need to spend one honestly i think that's that's my limit so i'm going to take a three a four and a five i will remove spend this remove this dragon unfortunately we won't score it we'll take these gems oh no no, no way we won't take these gems we'll take this first goodness gracious and then we'll take this so that's another four points we will take this fellow, that's a cave-in, so we get to stop these three, uh, what look, what what I like to call meatballs, but obviously are not. Um, <laughs> and, 
hi Mark, yeah, we're going to mine the heck out of these dice, and, and probably likely better than this um, moving forward. Um, or hopefully better than I have done in this round. Um, now we don't have anything else to do, really. Like we don't, we can't get another, we can't get another run. Obviously, we've got twos and fives. There's no nothing else really to do. I don't have any other ways to like stop these dragons, for example. So that's really the end of the game. That was three mountains. We 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 mined the three mountains, or we mined really like two and a half. But now we're gonna keep. We're now we're gonna count score. That's five and ten. Remember, we get one point for each of these symbols. So that's thirteen. That's 16, 19, 22, and then that's 4, 8, which would be 30, and 36. So not as bad of a score as I might have, might have thought, but certainly not great. Get this nice uh, handy-dandy solo mode and multiplayer score sheets. That's kind of cool. Um, I always forget to actually do the multiplications, but... I just said 36, and we'll write it right here. What the heck is the date? 9.14? question mark yeah there we go 914 36 it's not a good score but it's not the worst and so that's dice miner like i said super simple really easy there's a little bit of strategy or no not really strategy there's a little bit of tactics but not a huge amount yeah exactly you don't have to roll them very much and that's what is the best part about this dice game because you get to throw them at a mountain but then after that, it's set. You, there's nothing else you can do. I should say, actually. I've played the... I, I, I know I said this card was kind of broken for the solo mode, or it didn't really work. You can play this, whereas instead of picking up a die, you can re-roll two of the die that you already have. Now, because in the solo mode, you are always picking up die, like, there's no, like... In, in the multiplayer mode, I think you have to do stuff in order to pick up the dice. Obviously, I haven't read the full rules, because who cares? I'm never going to play this with anyone, ever. But, <laughs> but because you can do this as many times as you want, you could just stand, you could just sit there, like, rolling dice until you got the dice roll that you wanted. So it's kind of broken. But if you really wanted to, you could, you know, you could do it, maybe. Or I suppose you could, like, limit yourself to one re-roll, right? So you could, like re-roll once and then pick a dice and then re-roll again if you want to and pick a dice again i don't know but the quartermaster yeah i would recommend if you're going to play this solo probably not he's a bit broken but there you go alchemist um not your biggest fan but we'll put you over there we've played it house rule it exactly yeah three magic stays out for the next round and we're gonna throw all of these i mean Okay, also, like, these dice feel great. They're, like, weighty, and they're these translucent ones are really... They catch the light nicely. These ones have beer mugs on them, if that's your thing. I don't know. I was just kind of... I was just kind of... I was drawn in. Yeah, for sure. Definitely a, definitely a, definitely a house rule one. Now, there's one where... What is it? Yeah, this one. So, like, this lets you re-roll the mountain... So essentially, like, take all of the stuff and then throw it all back on, which I think is actually really cool. And this does say, like, once per game. So you certainly could, like, limit yourself to one full reroll per game or something like that. But, yeah, for sure, it's a house rule waiting to happen. I've I, The way I played it was, like, was, like after I figured out that it was broken, I played, like, one reroll and then having to pick another dice. But, you know, you could... You could figure it out. Let's play another guy. Uh, let's play another... Play another miner, and let's see what we've got. There's some cool... Like, this. each... I mean, you'll definitely find that the characters do add, like, quite a bit of variability. Like this guy, for example. No special powers at all, just basically gives us six points, right? So we're scoring four for each of these... Or one for each of these dragons, so that's four, and two gems. We start with six, and so if as long as we score 30 points, then, then, then we're going to have a high score this this session so let's go for it i guess i think this is i might have, you might have to correct me if i'm wrong or i might have to correct myself if i'm wrong but i think this was only in like the little backer pack that came on kickstarter i'm not sure if this is in the retail version so um so you have to forgive me let's see if we can get some better some better mountains those mountains weren't that great um last time now, oh yeah, we need to re-roll our dice too. It's 
just something satisfying about that, you know? Sometimes I like to throw them from afar. <laughs> you know, it just, I don't know. Right, okay, this mountain we've got a variety, which is a lot better than we had last time. And we've got ourselves a beer, so that's good. We can maybe flip this to a... F we've got... If we if we choose a one, two, three, that seems like a relatively flexible set of magic. So, immediately we can clear this off, can't we? Um, we can do this and stack this on top. We'll claim ourselves a gem, um, because why not? And if I get rid of... This is a shame, because we can't claim this four until we claim this three. Um, but I think there's a way, at least, that we can get some magic out of this. So, if I clear off these two fives, for example, like this, put those back in the bag, then I'll have a one, I can start another run, I've got a two to continue that run, I can pull magic and gems. Look, see, we're flying through it already. Yeah, this is a this is unfortunate, but we can also claim this magic. So I guess I'll claim another. Th hmm. Do I claim another two? There's lots of dragons down here. Maybe I'll get rid of some of these. I'll do a two, and I'll probably spend it. So this two will come to me. I could have got rid of this four, I suppose, but. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, th I suppose I could spend a three and get rid of this, this, and this. And that way I can claim a three, a chest, and some more magic. Yeah, sure. So, uh, one, two, and three. We'll leave some of the dragons down at the bottom. If we can find a shield, then this is a nice, this is a nice scoring, um, that's a nice scoring dragon. But for now, we'll do this. We'll claim our three magic back, essentially. And then we've got three treasure chests waiting to store our gems. Now, I should mention that once we've, like, claimed a gem, we can't then, like, put it in a treasure chest. It has to be from the mountain into the treasure chest. So that's why, like, I can't just, like, oh, yeah, I'm scoring six points instead of scoring three. That's that's what that is. Um, yeah, all right. I think, generally speaking... The more empty you can leave the mountain at the end of the round, the better off you're going to do. So this is pretty good. Like, that's all right. Two, two dragons at the bottom? That's fine. And dragons at the bottom is usually better than dragons at the top. It, that's a rule that I didn't know I needed to know. But dragons at the bottom, always better. Round two, and let's, uh, let's, let's, let's stack this mountain, shall we? I think if we just kind of bish... Bisham on there. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I just, I know I'm gonna, not going to stop saying it, but, uh, oh, hello. What did I just put? Oh, there it is. <laughs> like, I dropped a dice and then I couldn't see where it went. Okay. <sighs> Calm. We've got three ones, which is mm, not perfect. Now, I think, I mean, another house rule this could be is I suppose it'd be cool if you could, like, if you could spend a magic to re-roll a dice, I think that would be kind of fun too. Because like this, like we know, there's no chance I'm going to get three more runs of five. Like it just isn't going to happen. But like, if I, like if I were to like pull this and then re-roll this and get lucky, say, that would be, that would be cool. I think that would be a neat kind of twist uh, or suggestion. I don't know. Right, so we've got a four, or we've got a beer, I should say, which I'm going to turn into a four because we've got a five waiting down here. I could turn it into a three as well, but yeah, I don't know. My my wife is not a gamer either, Red Dwarf, so hence hence why my my board game table is up against a wall. Um, <laughs> so so thanks thanks for tuning in. Um, we've got a four, that's good. We'll take these, I suppose, or at least some of them. I might use magic to get get rid of these two, to be honest. Given that we've got magic waiting for us, and we've got a nice beer. Ooh, a green beer is pretty good, because we can, we can use this to claim this dragon. All right, this is good, this is good. We can store this tool for later. Um, let me shift these across a little bit. We'll store this tool for later. Um... Yeah, like if I could use magic to make this into a three, I think that'd be really cool. But as it is, we will use this beer to make a three here. 
Like, I could take these. I mean, there's still a decent number of white dice in the bag, so... Yeah, this is true. Just base them onto the mountain. Don't... Never re-roll. Never re-roll. Just take what you can get at this point. Now, I could remove... I think I probably will... Re I've, I've got a plethora of magic, right? I've got a lot of magic. So, I've got magic to spare. Let's take this... Let's take these two out. We'll put them back in the bag. The reason I say that is, like, we could claim them, but it's better for them to be available to be rolled into, like, threes, fours, or fives, I think. Especially because we've got more and more magic waiting for us. So, let's let's make sure we do this in the right order. I'm going to claim this magic, claim this treasure chest, claim this magic, and I'll probably make it into a two, given that we've already got... Two. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I'll make it into a two. I think twos are the best. And we've got a lot of magic still. Now, we've got places to put our gems, which is nice, like this. We've got places to stop cave-ins. Um, and we've got this, which will become our shield, for sure. So we can change this to whatever we want. It's a beer. It's going to be a shield. We'll claim this four dragon, which is the best dragon you can get. Um, we'll claim this gem and put it here. And we'll claim this gem and put it here, too. So that's scoring us four points. And then... And then we can either claim this and put it on here, or I suppose we could actually just change this into a three, and that way we're scoring three points for it instead of two. So, yeah, this this game's going better. See, like we we're having we're we're getting some empty mountains, so that's nice. This is our third and final mountain, so let's see how we do. We're gonna throw throw some more dice at it. Now we need we need threes, fours, and fives essentially, and we might be on we might be on target for some runs, but just there we go. That was that was my attempt at a shuffle. Right, it's not good. Um, it's not a good it's not a good mountain, but. Uh, let's see. We've got this and this, which which stand out to me. We've got some more gems, so we can score at least a couple of points if we can get down there. And we've got plenty of magic. So let's see. Um, we've got three beers, um, of which we're probably going to need at least three, four... F ah, this three being under one of the magics is a bit of a shame. Although, if we can get three, four... Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's think. I know, right? This was like, this was the mountain being like, don't, don't get, don't get cheeky now. Um, hmm. Right, 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 right. I think if we do something like this three, this five is, is nice, but it's going to have to go, I'm afraid. These three are going to go back in here. This one is going to go back in here. And then let me think about this. I can claim this. Um, I can claim this. And now we've got a stack of three and that's a full treasure chest. Um, now we need a... We've got fives. I need one of these to be a... F okay, let me think about it. What do I need? I need, a, I need a four and a five. I need a three, four and a five. So I've got a three here, if I can get to it. What if I just take this off? I can take it off because it's a one, so that's nice. If I make this a four, this a five, then I think I'll be able to make... No, I have to... I think I need this three. In which case, I need to make this a four, this a five... This is where the puzzly element comes in, I suppose, um, which is nice. Um, th that's a three now, which is good. Then this can be a gem. It is a gem. This can be my triple meatball sub. This can be a four. Boop. And this can be my five. I mean, I could take this and this, but, you know, save time. And there we go. There's no, like, points lost for leaving dice on there, or points lost for having magic, which, again, could be house-ruled. 
don't mind it. Make things a little more challenging, perhaps, or a little more risky to, like, leave stuff alone. I don't know. You do what you want, you know? That's why we play solo, isn't it? Six magic left over. Um, this one doesn't score as anything, obviously, but I suppose I could use my scoring chart here. Look, we've got... Uh, hello, that's me again. I'm back, and it's still the same day. Um... That's that's how these that's how these things work. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so we've got uh, special thing. Boop. And we've got a f we've got four of these. So that does equal four. Four times one. We've got one, two, three, seven of these. That will equal seven. And um, we've got one, two, three, four um, gems scoring as one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six gems scoring as two. So that's twelve. And then we've got three runs. That's fifteen. I think if we add all that up, that's 20, 35 plus 7 is 42. So a slight... Oh, no, hang on. Plus Elder Dragon, thank you very much. 4, 5, 6. That's 48. Um, I don't know how I make sense of that. ED plus 6. I'll just have to remind myself. Well, I don't, I don't need to remind myself at all, but oh, that was off camera too. Um, so there we go, 48, and, uh, and, a, and a bit of a better return, this, this mountain. Now, there is um, scoring, like, achievements or results or whatever you want to call them, a table, a, a tableau. So last time we were improving, mm, not great. This time we're in the average category, so a little bit better. And let's see if we can get up to excellent or even masterful. Elder Dragon, you've, you've done as well. That extra six points was nice. Um, don't mind it. Not like not the most exciting um, kind of character in terms of its abilities, but no, you know, we don't, that's not what we're here for. We're here for, we're here for pure points tally. And these dice are going back in. Let's grab ourselves another, let's grab ourselves another miner. That's not something you should say on the stream. Let's grab ourselves another dwarf. <laughs> oh dear. Treasurer. This guy is going to give us a gem and the possibility of two more gems. So, okay. Treasurer, don't mind it. I like your little goggle. Your little monocle. Is it still a monocle if it's, if it's being used for that? I imagine so. Grab another dwarf is any better. Yeah, to be fair, I mean, character. I mean, how do we? Don't just don't do any grabbing at all. Maybe no grabbing. Keep your hands to yourself, mate. Don't don't get grabby on stream. That's not what we're here for. <laughs> all right. Well, you know how I like the one, two, three. There we go. We'll start with six magic, and that seems like a pretty decent. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't toss anything. Don't grab anything. We're just, we're just, we're PG, okay? We're PG. Right. Let's fill this mountain up and uh, and, and and change the subject. We're gonna select a new player power. Exactly. That's. Thank you. You're my sensor. See, it's just. I don't know. It's just something. Like, do you, do you discard these? Do you add them to the mountain? That's your choice. Well, I can't tell you what to do. This mountain isn't very good. Well, it's okay. We've got some nice, we've got some, we've got a dragon shield, which is always good. But, mm, there's only this I can never, oh, maybe I can get to this without this. Let's think. I'm gonna claim this magic, which will help us probably start to chip away at some of this stuff. Um, unfortunately, this one is under this, so this is gonna have to be a one, which is annoying, um, because I don't have any twos, especially. Um, but maybe we can get this. I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Ugh. All right, let's spin our three magic and we'll just get rid of all of these things and then go from there. These are all going back in that. And this is gonna be a one, because it has to be. This is also going to be a one, because it is. And then this can be a two. So we'll, we'll pull a two. This will be a three. Or do we go with this three? Uh, probably this one. I mean, at least then we won't have to use as much magic to kind of get down there. So we'll do we'll use the magic we just claimed to get rid of these two. 
We'll pull our shield, um, which is good. We've got some gems, which can go on our treasurer immediately. So we'll, we'll note that we've claimed that for four points. Then we've got ourselves a four, don't mind it. And we've got ourselves some magic and some more magic. Now we could claim this and get ourselves two points, or we could hold out for a nice four pointer. Mm, uh, who's to say, who is to say? Let's pull ourselves a nice three magic on this one. And, hmm, I don't mind keeping this. You know, this arrangement down here isn't so bad. It, it'll be okay. Let's, uh, let's refill the mountain. And I think, I think we'll go from there. We've got 15 dice to add, so we might have some chances of, or do I just, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm gonna push my luck a little bit. We'll push, we'll push our luck. I mean, it's only two points extra, but it might also help us like clear out if we get a dragon on top. I don't know. Again, we all know dragon on top. Bad. We've talked about this before. Right, we've got three uh, gems, which is nice, and we've got beers. See, that's what we're here for. And um, we'll start this one up again. This one is gonna come over here. No treasure chest, unfortunately. We've got some more magic to decide on. Um, oh, and another beer. Brilliant. So the this will be all right. So this let's do this as a two. I think two is the I think two is the strat. It's enough, but it's not too much. And then we can do this where we change this into a shield, and then we're gonna claim ourselves. See, I told you this would work out. Four dragons each. Oof, that's eight points in dragons already. Lovely jubbly. We've got two cave-ins to save. We've got another one, which is not that good. We've got this three, which is still useless. Mm. This could be our two, which I think, it, or maybe it needs to be a five. We haven't got any points yet for runs. Hmm. 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 Um. We definitely need to get rid of some of these dice. I, I don't think leaving it like this is the best idea. Um, so, I guess we can claim this as a one just because it's better than using it using up a magic to do it. And we've still got another one if something better comes out. We've got a... Like, we're really hoping on rolling some fives, or at least a five, unless we get down here. And to get down here is going to cost us two magic. Um, it could also cost us two magic, and we could get a two, three, four, and have only need only need five, only need two dice to go our way. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm I'm talking myself into it. I think we're going to spend two magic. Take off the wait. Hang on. Why do I want to get rid of a gem? No, we're going to spend one magic. Get rid of this. It's going back in the bag. Claim a gem, because gems are good, remember? Then two, three, four. And then we're holding out Ooh, another gem. And now we're holding out for two fives. I don't think we're going to get this. But if we've got four, five, six, seven, ten... 18, we've got 19 points already. That would make us 29. Gosh, it's not gonna be that good. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to come up with some pretty good stuff on this last mountain if we're to if we're to break uh 48. Alright, let's see what we can do. If we can score 20 points from this mountain, I'll be very surprised. But stranger things have happened, friends. Stranger things. Right, let's just smush some dice over here. That's nice, and uh, that's a shame, because um, those du those dragons would have been good. We've got a four, which is bad. We've got two fives, though, so that is good. We've got this shield, which we will claim, and this magic, which we will claim. This cave-in, which will likely be useless. Well, I guess we could claim it this way. Dragon, cave-in. Okay. We've got ourselves a two, which I guess I'll throw down just because. This can become either a dragon or a cave-in, and I think... All right, if I make it a dragon, I'll score four points. But if I make it a cave-in, I can score five points, because I can make it a three and then claim this one. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Uh, cave in of three. There we are. This four is going to have to be removed, and unfortunately, um, I am out of wands, so I've got two magic to spend, and I think what I'll do is do... I guess I'll just lop these off the top. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of a gem. It's not what you want, but sometimes, you know, Mick Jagger said it best. You don't, you don't always get what you want. One gem, especially when what you want is gems. I've never got a gem. I'll tell you that much. No one's ever given me a gem. We can make another run. Three, hello, three, four, and five. We're not going to be too far off, you know, um, scoring some half-decent points at least. Um, I don't think we can do any two, three. We're really close. We just need one more five, um, but unfortunately not. This is going to be useless. This will come here. Here, boop. This can go there with a two and a three and a four, just because. Why not? We can at least show that we made an attempt. This is going to go on the cave in, and that's not bad, all things considered. Way too much magic left over, though. Although, I suppose if that's a good thing if you don't need it. We spent all of this, but we had all of this. Right, see, this you just you just breeze through this game, which is which I think is fun for someone like me who gets a bit, well, one gets a bit unlucky, and two, um, I, I just I don't know, it, it's it's kind of like if you want to play again, you can play again. If you get bored, you can leave. You don't have to like, all you need to do is throw this on the table. There's no like footprint per se. It's a pretty easy game to like throw, you know, in a bag. I would imagine and take somewhere or like play at any time so that's nice i mean i don't know i'm giving you a review you're, you're watching it but here we are we're, we're playing together these are just my thoughts so um let's see we've got dragons and we've got wow we've got eight dragons uh no we've got 10 dragons in fact so that's 10 points um because we've got four four and two we've got one two three four five six uh cave in so that's a uh, six as you might imagine one two three four five six seven because of this treasurer's pocketed gem to start and then these are in a chest so that's another four um or i should say two equals four that's seven yes and then we've got three runs so that's 15 and okay we haven't done too bad um that's what uh, 10, 20, 35, plus 7 is 42 points again. So if you'd have been the Elder Dragon, we would have been on the same, uh, would have been on the same wavelength. I suppose we would have lost our, would have lost our gems. So who knows? But there we go, 42. It's not bad. Again, it's not brilliant. What's my best score ever? It's in the 50s, I think. 58, maybe? Yeah, something like that. I've got... I, I usually I usually have some like these in in every game that I own. <laughs> I've got little sheets of like my best scores if they don't give you sheets, which maybe I should transcribe. But, but regardless, forty two. It seems like my average is is low forties. So let's just let's just keep going with that then. This is where I go another and throw my drink across my shoulder. But I don't. This is my house. So I'd, if I was in a tavern, ah. Uh, uh, believe me. Exactly. Answer to everything. Meaning of life, right there. Um, but yeah, let's do another. Mm. I don't... I can't... Yeah. I don't know if dwarves drink uh, sparkling water. I can't imagine that they do. But if they did, would they drink white peach and ginger? I can't say. I can't say. But, treasurer, you've served us well, you've given us the answer, the meaning of life, and next up, it's like we're pitting them against one another. I, we should, I should probably make note of who was who, shouldn't I? It's like, I should probably, have, instead of writing my own name, which is, <laughs> is now, now strikes me as quite silly, because obviously, yes, I am playing my own game. Um, that was the Archimist. Alchemist. <laughs> All right, never mind. And this was the Elder Dragon, which we're going to call ED, which PG, please. And then this was the Treasurer, which we're going to call TR. And I'll maybe just make another sheet when I'm off stream. You don't want to see me write that out again, but 
my own like my own like tendencies for Ed. Yeah, Ed. Yeah, the worst orange pop ever. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That what was that one like that ginger beer that I brought from like flipping the local co-op. Oh my gosh, it was like dandelions and ginger. It literally tasted like it tasted like lawn clippings. <laughs> oh boy, it was spicy. It was so spicy. It was like it was like if you'd like doused lawn clippings in like chili oil. It was it was not I wasn't a massive fan, I'll be honest. Liquid orange rinds. <laughs> I love that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh man exactly it was all organic man my body was singing it was just thanking me i'm sure it was it was health i was so health conscious so healthy the engineer the engineer is going to give us a spare two which is nice and a cave-in so and he's made us a little bird what a friend i don't know, I don't know what this What's this gonna do? If you're making a tiny bird, where's the... You know, we're not gonna argue with him. <clears throat> we're not gonna argue with him. He's doing his thing, he's wacky old man. We've got ourselves, we're gonna go with a one, two, three again, obviously. And let's fill it up. Let us fill it up. Yeah, I need to, maybe I need to head down, I need to head down to the co-op again and see what they've got, see what they've got in stock. I mean, I'm in the right part of the country to, to try out weird, flipping, like, artisanal, bubbly waters, aren't I? I mean, let's be honest. Wow, look at this. We've got, a, we've got four um, beers, which I don't mind. Um, we're going to move this one and take away this dragon, unfortunately. But let's think about this. Right, we've already got a two here. So we know that we can do, like, a one-three combo. Um, unfortunately, this three isn't going to be able to be used because I'm going to have to... Well, I suppose it could still be used, couldn't it? And we've got a four down here too. So, all right, let's make this... We'll make this a one. That's the first thing to do. And I suppose we make this a one as well. Um, because then I've got a one and a two. Then I can use this spare... Th uh, this three, like I'll leave a little gap so we know. And I can claim this magic, get this four... And then I can make this a two, right? Make this a two, claim this three. And then I've got a five here. Look at this, we're scoring mad points. Another one, this will be a four. And we're just clearing out this mountain like it's nothing. We've got a treasure chest for some things. We've got more dragons though, which is annoying. But frankly, let's just put them back in the bag and see what we can do. A triple treasure chest is a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice go because that gives us six there. This magic will come back to us. This gem will go in our collection. Mm, and you unfortunately cannot be picked up, but you can be a two, and that is okay with me. Um, you know what we'll do is I'm just going to throw this in here, and then I've got a one-two run starting, like so. So we don't need a two. We need a three, four, five. And look at that. That was, that was like a, it was like this engineer just blasted through the mountain. He just flipping TNT'd it and scored us some decent points while he was doing it. What have we got? Six, 11 points from that? Oops, hello. No, 12 points, because we've got an extra gem. Yeah, I was really hoping that it was going to be like dandelion. Or it was, yeah, well, that's what it was. It was like dandelion and ginger. And I was hoping it was going to be dandelion and burdock, but that it was not. Um, and if, I don't know if, I, I've never, yeah, I think I've maybe found like one dandelion and burdock drink in the US, but that's a, that's, that's the taste of, that's the taste of Northern England, I'll tell you what. Right, get on there, do a little shuffle around, okay, that's enough. Um, right, we can, we can actually take this, because we can take it and fill his, uh, little cave in, so that's good. And we'll take this too, we've got some more, um some pretty nice rolls again i think this can be a three four or should i use it as a five hmm. probably as a five i think uh 
got another one down here, which I suppose I'll get to with some magic. Let's just get rid of these. Oops, yeah, get rid of these. This can be a five. Can I get to this? I think I can. This can be a three, and this can be a four. Yes, I think this is the I think this is the play. I've got another one to start another run. I've got this here. Oh, I've got a shield to not have to spend magic on this dragon. Don't mind that. And we've got these gems going into here. These gems are already in here. Don't know why I didn't stack them. You should always stack them. And then we've got magic coming out of our ears. This engineer is a he's a magic man. Look at him go. We've got ones, twos, and threes. And then we've got this chest to store some further diamonds. We've got this two, three, and four. And I'll tell you what, we're not doing bad, are we? Um, remember, we don't need this. I suppose I'll just move it up here so we, we can keep it neat. We're engineers. We're, we're very organized. Those fours are not going to be very helpful, but I'm, I mean, I suppose we could get rid of them. I'm probably not going to use this much magic on our next round. Yeah, why not? I mean, let's just empty the mountain. The dice, the dice are looking good. Well, Richard, it's because we're not rolling them. We're throwing them. That's, that's the, that's the trick here. I found, I found the game for me. I have found the game that speaks to my soul. And that is lots of rumbly, translucent dice, but, but not a lot of luck. See, like, do we play, do we play this up here? Do we go, whoop? Or do we, we re-roll it? I mean, who knows? Let's just... Okay. That seems reasonable, because this sucks, but that was okay. So, right. We have got a cave-in, which we cannot solve. We've got this. Ah, it's in the wrong place. Although, no, no, this is good. This is good. These two are good things. This is unfortunate, because this isn't going to allow us to get anything, unless we go all the way down this left side, and then get this. Which I suppose would be possible. All right, let's get rid of this top... Oh, wait, hang on. This top one isn't even a thing. That You're not supposed to have a dice there. Get out of it. We'll claim this one, because it's free, and why not? And then we'll claim this two into a four... Then we'll claim this one, which is nice. This is going to have to go, but this will come into our little run here. This is good. This is good. We might make... Um, have we got... Hang on. We've got two, three, four. We might be able to make even two more runs from this if we play it right. So let's think. Um, we have to get rid of this, don't we? So let's get rid of this cave-in. A di like a dice tower above the mountain. It'd be like, I don't know what... Yeah, it's like the gods rolling dice down onto a mountain. Like, this is how they make mountains, is just throw stones at the... Yeah, good catch, Gypsy. Sorry, I didn't see your comment. I didn't see your, your, your chat before. Yeah, totally. That was, that was extra, so good to get rid of. Um, so if we get rid of this one, we can claim this too. And again, I'll just slot it up here, because why not? Remember, I've got a two still, so I don't need another one. I can claim this, which I can then use to claim that. I can claim two gems, because gems are good. I will use... Uh, uh, what, do I, what, do, what do I need? Um, I, can, I need to get rid of this. And this one is actually useless, so I can... Sp oh, this should have gone back in the bag, sorry. So this two will take these two away. Will it? Hang on. Did I just see that right? No, I need to do this. Three, sorry, because I need to get rid of these dragons too. One, two, three. Yeah. Those three dragons, because then this is a four...
when I say four, I mean five. This is a, <laughs> this is a shield to take this dragon, which used to be a beer. Just bear with me here, it's fantasy. This is a three. Oh yeah, we never needed a two. Four, five. Ooh, baby, and another gem. Flipping neck, engineers killing it. Look, we got one. We got two magic left over. All right, good luck with the uh, good luck with the bedtime. I'll probably do one more, so maybe another ten or fifteen minutes. I would say. I think I'll do one more character if that if that sounds all right to everyone. This is gonna be a good score, though. I think. Let's. Uh, yeah, the engineers. I mean, basically cleared out the mountain. I mean, we don't even need his two if we if we if we really think about it. But. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that looks nice, isn't it? A little 5x5 five five grid. Pretty good. Let's see. I think this is going to be a decent one. So this is the Engineer, which we will call Engineer. Um, that's, the, that's the name I'm, I'm, I'm giving him. And uh, let's see. We've got uh, six dragons. That's six. And we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five cave-ins. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six gems. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, gems in treasure chests, which is going to give us 14 points. And then five runs, which is 25. And that, I think, leads us to 30, was that 30, 44, 56? Ooh, engineer, top of the table. Love to see that. Is that right? 25 plus five is 30. Plus 14 is 44, plus 6 is 56. 56 points for the Engineer. Not bad. Not bad at all, friend. Nice job. I don't know if you helped all that much. I mean, you are okay. You gave us three extra points. This was kind of cool because I like the way that, at least this is how I play it. Again, house rules, whatever. But... At least the way I play it, like, you can kind of interchange the dice you have. So, like, I was able to, like, keep some gaps to be able to make a run and then, like, fill the gap and keep the gap, you know, so, like, it helps, I think. Or that helps quite a lot. But 56 points, not bad. One more. Let's do one more and then we'll wrap up the stream and we'll call it. And it's been an absolutely wonderful time, as per usual. Let's see who we get. Or maybe I could put it as a... Oh. Should we do a vote? Should we do a vote? Scout, Slayer, Warlock, Surveyor, Prospector. Can I do this? Can I can I create a poll? Oh yes, I can. Hang on. Let's whack out the old keyboard. Typing skills. There's gonna be some typos in here, I promise. Add option. Warlock. I mean, I suppose people could just tell me, but here we are. We're just going to do it. I'm, I'm making the most of it. Can I make another one? Oh, no. Well, I've only got four options. So, Prospector, you lose out. Sorry. Did that work? I don't know. Maybe it did. It did. Right. Tell me who you want to see. Who's the last... Who's the last character? And I'll set up the old dice -roo. Don't Don't say that. It's not dice -roo. They're just dice. All right, Dragon Slayer's in the lead. I see Warlock, which I don't mind. I should lay him out, actually, shouldn't I? I mean, that would make help, help make the decision. Are these going to be ours. Engineer, you served as well. Well done, my friend. Alright, we'll call it. Let's go with the Slayer. Love it. This guy looks tough. I'm not gonna lie. He looks like a tough guy. So, I'm excited. If we can find ourselves four dragons, we are in. And an extra magic, so you don't mind that. Uh, what have we got? Three magic to start. And you know how this goes. We're just going to throw some dice and see what happens.
Right. What do we say? What say you, Dragon Slayer? Ooh, hang on. That's going to be pretty good, I think, if we can get a beer. No, I thought we were going to get a beer up there. Ah! All right, yeah. And this is what I'm going to do. That seems only fair. Right. Oh, I need to reroll my uh, my dice, of course. And we've got ourselves... Hmm, let's do a one. A nice, t a nice tactical one. Sometimes you just need a single dice. You don't need the whole kit and caboodle. Sometimes you just need to... Pluck away, just a slight a chip, chip away at the at the mountain, rather than explodey like an engineer would. This I think we'll make into a cave in. That seems like the most reasonable thing because it allows us to get some gems and some magic. This is pretty good. We've got a one, two. This will be a three, four. Okay, not a bad run, I suppose. Right out of the gate. Um, this will make a cave in, so we'll check this two off. We'll claim some gems because gems are good still. And we'll claim these two threes because magic is also nice. We've got a one and a two. And then we'll spend this one. No, hang on. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we'll spend just one. We'll spend this one, get rid of this. This will be a three. This will be a chest. This will be a four and a five. Now then, do we re-roll some of these or do we just let them be? We've got a nice two, like, we've got a nice, well, we don't have a, a great array, actually. Most of them are threes, but... Hmm, I don't mind this down at the bottom. It's a nice kind of, like, prize at the very base of the mountain. Um, some of these, though, I think we could do with getting rid of. I don't want to spend all my magic, of course, but if I were to just drop off a little three and kind of do something like this, who's to say that wouldn't be a good idea? Um, not me. Not me at all. So let's refill this mountain, and our, our Slayer, he hasn't started off bad, has he? He's got us two, three, four... Nine points to start, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Oh, we're frozen, are we? Oops. Are we good? I'm just checking my own. Okay, I see my own hands moving, so that's that's good. Okay, all right, good. All right, good. Um, sorry about that. Um, right, let's see. Let's throw some dice down and uh, see what we can do, shall we? Right. Lovely. I really would like those to be dragons, but unfortunately, as you can tell, they are not. They are meatballs. Um, let's spend his magic and do this. Yeah? We can get one, two, three. Ah, that's such a shame. I might... That's That should go there, sorry. Um, you know what, I'm going to spend instead, I'm going to spend two magic and do that and this, and that way at least we can clear up some more stuff. So, let's pull one, we'll get gem... Um, we'll put it in the treasure chest. No, we won't. We'll put these two in the treasure chest and claim this gem. And then we'll get two, three, treasure, which we like. We'll make this a four. Yes? Yes. Make this a four make this uh or retain that as a five mm, there's so many threes why are we rolling so many threes at the moment now this could be useful remember he's got a shield so we don't need this to be a shield necessarily we could just store that on him and call it good so we could make this instead gems and then use this as a gem. So let's make let's make it some treasure chests here. 
Um, you're full. And if we get rid of some of these threes, maybe say, oh, I don't know, two of them, maybe even three of them. Three of them? And we've still got three magic to spend. This will go. Yeah, okay, we've still got three magic. We've still got three magic. I think we'll be okay. So we're going to get rid of these three threes, because threes aren't going to help us all that much at the moment. We'll take a magic back, so that's good. And then we'll claim this as three gems and score ourselves six extra points. And now we are, mm, some might say, cooking with a little bit more gas. That's three, that's 10, 12, 13, 14, mm, 20, we're on 30 points at, 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 a, at a cursory glance. So let's let's fill this up and see what happens. What happens is good, because we've got ourselves a nice shield this way, and we can claim this, and then a nice shield for this too. Ooh, shield it is. The Dragon Slayer is indeed slaying dragons. It's kind of funny how that worked out, but here we are. That's a shame though, because I need those what? I need those twos and that four, but I cannot get to it until I get this. I think that's going to scupper us from getting any... Is that going to not allow us to get any extra points? Oh, actually, that was a terrible mountain roll, wasn't it? We don't have any other ways to claim dragons, and I don't think I can make... I can't make any more points. No, that was a rubbish mountain. I thought it was good for a second. I mean, you managed to kill six dragons, but... At the same time, like if I get rid of like, if I get rid of, yeah, I need a four. I, this, this is where like that rule, like a rule about like re-rolling dice might be nice, but like I need this four to make this five work. So like if I get rid of this, I can get rid of that and I can claim these two magic back, which is great and all. This could be my one, two, uh, well, I'm stuck anyway. All right, never mind. Ah, that mountain wasn't great then, was it? So I think we're we're probably around about 36 points again. Let's let's see. Um, we've got one, two for the. I mean, we slayed a lot of dragons. To be fair to him, um, so he did what he said on the tin, didn't he? Um, eight points there. Nine, ten for stopping a cave in because he's just that kind of guy. Ten. Wait, is that eight? Yeah, eight, ten. Uh, fourteen plus six is twenty. Twenty-six plus 10 is indeed 36. So, uh, you know, not bad, but not brilliant. Um, Dragon Slayer, and we'll just call it 36 down there. So the winner, and there's a very small sample size, but the best character to use, as far as we can tell, is indeed the Engineer. 56 points puts him right at the top. The Elder Dragon, with those six extra points you get right at the start, kind of helped us out there. Treasure Hunter, or Treasurer, sorry, 42. Alchemist, you've got magic, but, mm, you know, yeah, didn't really come in all that handy. Dragon Slayer, you're fine. I do like slaying dragons, so, okay, you, you, you guys share last spot. You come on off the podium. But here we are, and that is Dice Mayan. What a, uh, what a, yeah, I mean, it's, like I say, it's a simple game, which isn't for everybody, right? Like, some people like a bit more crunch. There's some, you see some little tactics and some kind of puzzly elements where you're like, okay, if I do this, then I can do that, and then I can do that, and then this. But it's open information, right? Like, all the information you need to solve that puzzle is right in front of you. So some people like that, some people don't. I I think it's quite, it's quite relaxing in terms of a solo mode. Like, it, there's not a lot of... There's not a lot of, like, brain activity necessary to make it happen, which is, like, like I said, some people like that, some people don't. If you want a nice, like, I could see this being a really cool filler game, and, you know, who knows? I don't know about the multiplayer game at all. I can see that, like, drafting dice off of it and taking the dice that your opponents wanted would be kind of fun, but other than that, I can't really speak to it. I don't read multiplayer rules because, well, as we established, my table faces the wall. I don't have anyone over across there. 
that, though, I think will be it for me. Thank you so much, honestly, for joining the stream, tuning in. Oh, yeah, mobile version actually would be kind of cool. Yeah, that's true. A nice little app. A nice little app version. Yeah, that's true. It'd be really easy to implement as well, wouldn't it? It's like, we need a bag of dice and, yeah, a random roll, a random fill, and then you just click them. It'd be like a, almost like a little match three where you could like, and it would zoom down to you a little thing. Agreed. Agreed. Get on it, Atlas Games. We need a mobile app. Thank you very much, and good night. No, thank you, honestly. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, sorry about the delay or the like lack of posting over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'll try to be a bit more regular, but like I said... Um, well, it depends. Depends how school goes, depends how job search goes, depends how all things go. Um, and here we are. I mean, you know, that's that's just, that's just where we're at. But it's been a lovely time as always. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, go join the Discord. If you uh, haven't already, check out the Patreon. If you want to support the channel, that would be amazing. Um, and uh, drop a like on this video if, uh, if you've enjoyed. I hope you have. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I will see you later, everybody. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Stay safe. Be well. Mind dice, etc. All right. Goodbye.